So here's what's really crazy. So they found him and arrested him at his job. At his oh, job. Great. Yep. Somehow the arrest warrant got whoever was filling out this stuff had his name, his driver's license, and his social security number on it. And they took a picture of him and sent it to a deputy who knew him who said, yep, that's the guy. Mm. One problem, the guy they were looking for is covered in tattoos, fully sleeved on both arms. And the guy they picked up has no tattoos. And they checked his arms and they saw that he had no tattoos, but uh. everything else matched. So they just went with it. So mm. for five oh. days, this man who had been arrested from his job for oh. no reason whatsoever sat in jail. Yep. He has an attorney. Don't you worry. Good. We'll see what happens. So he's a free man now. And he has an attorney representing him. So I certainly hope that he gets his due diligence out of this. I do too. I do too. Because the, uh, there's got to be a better way. I mean, at least in this case, they look similar. The guy in Las Vegas, the um, incorrectly <laughs> arrested guy was black. And the guy that was supposed to be arrested was white. Yeah. With a big white beard. Yeah, like 25 years difference in age. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, why aren't they checking fingerprints like right away? Right away. Yeah. There well, should be the a whole better tattoo protocol. thing, you know? Yeah. The whole tattoo thing. I mean, that should. But from however this all was filled out all the way down, mistakes were made. And I think they better go back to their entire system and see how they are doing things and how this mistake was made. Because this is all right. wrong. Yeah, there's got to be a way to be sure if, you know, because you're going to run into people with the same name. That's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. this poor guy. Yeah. Not cool. Not cool at all. So with that being said, I'm going to turn the uh, the mic over to you for our main case. 